but God has first of all given man a responsibility to work you gotta work till it and keep it this is what God says to the first man as it relates to God's affairs and every affair in our individual garden belongs to God you gotta work it you gotta work it I don't care how much you pray when you get through praying you gotta get up off your knees and move in the direction of what you've been praying about yeah. yes. amen. amen and it goes on 15 um, 16 and God the Lord God commanded the man he said you are free to eat from any tree in the garden but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge the good and evil for when you eat of it you will certainly die that several things uh, that I lift in these verses I borrow from Walter Brueggemann who says that the Lord gave three things he gave vocation he gave permission and then he gave prohibition that in the vocation there is freedom up to a point that with the permission that he's given he can do whatever he wants up into a point and then there's prohibition and the prohibition is centered around the trees that's planted in the center of the garden yes, sir. Yes, sir. which the command is you cannot touch you can't eat from you eat from everything else but you cannot touch these. If you do, you will surely die. Yeah. Let me just share this with you. This is not about the trees that's in the garden. Not at all. This is about being obedient to the command yeah, of yeah. God. Yes, sir. And in essence, with the prohibition, what God is saying with the man he created is that there is a place and point where you cannot do everything you want. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the message in the text. Yeah, yeah. That there comes a place for us when there are some things where we just absolutely have to draw the line and say, I cannot do that because it will affect my relationship with God. If God has said you can't do it, listen. He, he, doesn't, even, he doesn't even give an explanation why the trees are there. He just said you can't do it. And if God said you can't do it, then you can't do it. And to violate, to violate what God said we cannot do is to throw what God intends to happen for the man out of whack. God said you can't do it. And, and so we have the prohibition that's established around these forbidden trees don't touch them the moment you do it you will surely you will surely die the that it is an unqualified expectation for the human to be obedient God wants man to work and then God wants man to be obedient to what he says. If man is to regain his rightful place in family, community, and church, he's got to work and then he's got to have a heart for God. He's got to have a heart for God. If a man doesn't have a heart for God, he'll do anything. Yes, sir. Look like somebody ought to said, go ahead, something right up in there. Look like somebody. Yes, sir. Yeah. And so when you run into a man that loves God, then you own to something. Yeah. 